The stars are out tonight and shining at an invitation-only party to celebrate the studio's official opening. There they are, ladies and gentlemen. How about a Florida welcome for Jimmy and Gloria Stewart and Miss Janet Lee. There is motion picture history right there. While most of the stars exited the limousines gracefully, the coach, Craig T. Nelson, and his sidekick, Jerry Van Dyke, hammed it up, crawling out through the moonroof. The party is Universal's way of thanking local business and government leaders who have helped the company establish itself as the largest motion picture studio outside of Hollywood. I wish to goodness we had this out in Hollywood. I really mean it. Sure, we can duplicate a lot of things, but this is all built for one thing, to make pictures, believe it or not, all the way around, over in the back lot, anything you want. We got it made. But enough shop talk, these people are here for food and fun and a stargaze. I just passed Sylvester Stallone. Yeah, I got a picture of him. Studio had no trouble pleasing this crowd. They actually got a chance to mingle with some of the stars. Linda! 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 Give Linda, baby. Linda! Linda! Uh, I think Back to the Future 3 is the last Back to the Future. Back to the Future. Explosives going off, ladies and gentlemen. Explosives right behind me. This is Tom Wilson reporting from the front lines. I don't know what's happening back there, but a boat just blew up. Um, but Back to the Future 3 wraps up. Hey, Biff, story. you stick so to acting, and I'll handle the news. Shake Ma, please extend a warm welcome to Christopher Atkins. Chris! Chris! Jack Bellini has just come in, ladies and gentlemen. Chris, Chris, right now, please. Chris, right now.